As American forces push east, German resistance continues to mount. In the chaos of battle, forces have become scattered in heavy fighting. Both sides now look to regather their forces and shift the battle lines forward. Welcome back to another Flames of War battle report on Miniature Game Montage. Today, the Americans will face the Germans in the mission Encounter. The American forces consist of a veteran M4 Sherman tank company, two veteran Sherman 75s in HQ, three veteran Sherman 76s, three veteran M5 Stuarts, and four veteran Sherman 75s round out the formation. In support, they have three M7 Priest and Armored Rifle Platoon at full strength, four M10 Tank Destroyers, a Grasshopper Observation Post, and two P-47 Thunderbolts. The Germans will contest these forces with a Panzer IV tank company. They have two Panzer IVs in HQ, four Panzer IVs, three Panzer IVs, and three Panthers in the formation. In support, they have two 88s and a Panzer Grenadier Platoon with seven LMGs. Both sides round out at 99 points and will take the lucky card. The mission today will be Encounter. The Americans will be attacking today. Both sides will receive meeting engagement and scattered delayed reserves. Two objective markers will be placed on the opponent's side. These represent vital positioning points to push the battle forward. The mission parameters of this game is to gain and hold one of these objectives. With forces placed into reserves, scattered and delayed means reinforcements won't turn up until turn 3, and they could appear anywhere on your table edge. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please keep in mind that we are not experts with this game and mistakes may be made. Turn 1 is coming up next. And with the Germans winning a roll-off, they will take the top of turn 1 over on their left flank. They've deployed four Panzer IVs that are going to back away, being counter-deployed by M10s across the map. The 88s are going to attempt to dig in, which will be successful on that 3 plus. We will see a dig in attempt here from the infantry as well. This is going to fail, so they are going to move forward, occupying the building. Over on the German right flank, three Panzer III's were deployed. They do pass a blitz maneuver and will move 14 inches. And we will see the cannons open up on turn one. This first one taking a shot, hitting on threes, but they are at range, concealed and gone to ground. So he is going to need sixes. This is his moving rate of fire, one shot coming across, and that shot is going to miss. We roll up for the Panzer IV in the middle. He has clear line of sight, so just hitting on threes, he is short range, and the shot misses. We move to the tank beside him, also hitting on threes, but concealed, gone to ground, is going to require fives, and that shot also missing. The 88s then decide to open up against the M10s, and they fire with their moving rate of fire. Normally hitting on 4s, range is 5, they are concealed and gone to ground, so 7s, which requires a 6 followed by a 5. Both of those shots miss, and we move over to the Americans for the bottom of 1. With those tank shots providing a bit of a scare, the rifle platoon is going to dismount the transports, moving the bazookas forward, trying to get in range of those Panzer IVs. The rest are going to occupy the train station. The half-tracks are going to make their way around the back of the station, trying to get out of line of sight of those Panzer IVs. The Stuart tanks are going to shoot the gap here, just small enough for a Stuart to fit, and they are going to wrap around, bringing some potential side shots into those Panzer IVs that moved up the field. The M10s are going to remain stationary, and at this point we forgot to roll for aircraft, so we go back and we do that to allow these guys to come in to see if they can spot. The Grasshopper does come in on a 3, the P47s need a 4, they will not come in this turn. The Grasshopper is coming in and will attempt to spot for the artillery, but first we are going to go over to the Bazooka teams where they look to take shots at these Panzer IVs, hitting on fives. Five shots come out from the Bazookas, and two, three of them are going to strike the target. We allocated two to one tank as one is out of range. That first armor save has failed. A firepower test is rolled out, re-rolling for a cock die here, looking for a 5 plus unsuccessful that is a bailed out tank. We take two more saves here, while one is successful, one equals the anti-tank of 10, and a 5 up firepower to bail out is required and is successful, that's two bailed out Panzer IVs. While this happens, the Stuarts have crept into the middle and look to take shots into the side of the Panzer IVs. Two of them will be firing. 
Two are not concealed here, so needing sixes due to range and stabilizers. There's one hit. One here will need a seven due to cover, and it looks like one hit goes through on the side. The Germans roll up a five and bounce the shot, while the M10s decide to not fire, the Grasshopper will attempt to range in for the Priest Artillery Battery, looking for a four due to the terrain. The first attempt is unsuccessful, the second attempt is unsuccessful, and the third attempt is also unsuccessful. The Priest are going to attempt a self-spot, needing a four due to terrain, and they are going to range in on their first attempt, drawing line of sight to the building. We begin to roll for hits with the two up top, and it looks like one of those will be hit. We roll up for the bottom tier, and it appears one of them will be hit as well. We then roll up for the teams that are outside of the building, not getting any bulletproof cover here. We do assign one as they lie, and then the commander here also being hit. Now we do miss time on target for the Americans, where they would have to re-roll their saves. The commanding officer there is good. The LMG team here is also good. We then roll for the team in the bottom of the building, and they are going to be good. And then for the top, they are also going to be good. Time on target means they would have to re-roll those due to the Americans ranging in on the first attempt. And turn one comes to a close, the Americans getting very lucky with those half-tracks not taking any damage from the Panzer IVs. The Americans were able to pin down the German infantry in the building with artillery fire from the priests. We gear up for turn two as we head back to the Germans. And in turn two, attempting to remount these bailed out tanks. Protected ammo means they're on a three up. Both of them are going to get back in, those tanks becoming operational. Attempting to unpin here, and that is unsuccessful, the infantry staying pinned down. Now we do have a blitz maneuver that is passed by the Panzer IVs on the German right flank. They are actually going to back off of those bazookas. The infantry team, those not in the building, attempt to dig in, which is successful. And over on the German left flank, there is a dash by the Panzer IVs. The 88s are going to hold steady. We move back to the German right flank where machine guns open up into the rifle platoon, these bazookas specifically, trying to eliminate those. And four shots from two of the Panzer IVs come ringing out, eight in total, hitting on threes, and all but one are going to be successful. Every bazooka takes a hit, including the mortar platoon and the platoon leader. We start rolling up three up saves to see if there's any casualties. So far, so good for the Americans. Bazooka team on the right there is good. We roll up for the left, and that's their first casualty. That stand will be removed, and another bazooka team is good here. We roll up for the mortar team, needing a three-up infantry save. All good, and the platoon leader needing a three-up as well. He is good. The third Panzer IV is going to take a shot with the main cannon down at the approaching Stewart's. Normally hitting on fours range, making it fives. And both of those shots are going to miss, firing at his halted rate of fire due to the successful blitz maneuver. They then use stormtroopers to shoot and scoot and back up a little further. The 88s open fire now again on the M10s. They will hit on 7s, normally hitting on 4s, range is 5, but they are still concealed and gone to ground for 7s as they did not move or shoot. And we do get a 6 on the board, we'll need to follow that up with a 5 to equal a 7. That does not happen. With the turn concluded for the Germans, we move back to the Americans and rolling up a 3 plus rally for this rifle platoon, and they will successfully unpin. Rolling up for aircraft, neither the Grasshopper or the P-47 Thunderbolts will be coming in this turn. The bazooka teams are going to tactically move into this building here, attempting to get bazookas down on those Panzer IVs. This will require some shuffling from the platoon HQ in order to keep them in command. And the Stuarts are going to activate next and make what is potentially a fatal maneuver here as they are going to do cross checks looking to get into cover. Two of them will pass and one of them will be unsuccessful. The leader of this unit has given commands to get into cover. 
What he doesn't realize is that their cannons will be useless against Panzer IV front armor at range. But with movement concluded, we go into the shooting step, and the bazookas, four of them taking shots into this Panzer IV, and it will hit on fives due to their movement. They will strike once. And rolling up for that armor save, easily going to be bounced. The priest self-spotting once again down to the building, and they are going to issue a repeat bombardment. So rolling up for teams to be hit on fours. The two top teams, one of them will be hit. The two teams on the bottom will result in one hit. And then we will roll for the teams outside, going from right to left. First we have a miss. The commander of this platoon will take a hit, and the team on the left will miss. We will need to re-roll successful saves here, starting with the HQ. And he rolls out. He is going to be killed in action and replace one of the other teams. We roll up for the other two on the bottom floor. He is going to be good. And then we roll up for the team on the top floor. Good as well. We do remember the firepower test that is required, and it is successful. So the HQ of that platoon is taken out. We do flip back to the rifle platoon, remembering that they have a 60mm mortar. He can self-spot as he did not move this turn. So attempting to range in himself, needing a 5, and the first attempt is failed. The second is going to be successful, however, ranging in over terrain. He will be at a plus 1 to hit. One team on the top is struck, and looking at the bottom of the building, there will be one team struck at the bottom. And then the two teams that are outside, we will get a miss on the right and a hit on the left. Three up infantry saves are required first, starting with the leader of this platoon. He does fail. A firepower test will be required. And that is also going to fail. Moving to the platoon outside the building on the right. And up top, first off, a 3-up infantry save is failed. Firepower test will be taken, and that's a cock die. That is going to be failed as well. The other infantry save is made. And then we move to the Stuarts, who attempt to shoot into these Panzer IVs. And we didn't realize how big of an issue this was until we hit them, firing at range. And they have stabilizers, so needing sixes. It actually strikes one of these Panzer IVs twice, the only one that they can see. And those shots, of course, when the armor goes to 7, they have no impact. Moving to the American right flank, these M10s have taken the bait on these upcoming Panzer IVs, revealing their position. Two of them are firing and connect on a 6. They roll up, however, getting that plus 1 to their armor for long range equals the anti-tank, so a 3-up in order to bail out is unsuccessful. The other two M10s are going to take shots down at the 88s, Normally here on fours, they are concealed five, range six. They do get a hit, and a four-up gun save will be taken, and that is successful. So turn two comes to a close. The only thing missing is an American bazooka team. Everybody else is fully intact. The intents have been revealed over on the American right flank. The German player trying to figure out what to do with all these bazookas over on their right flank. Turn three coming up next. In the German starting step of turn 3, looking to unpin the infantry, and that is successful. Then rolling up for reserves, they will get one die here on a 5-up. They will get to bring in a unit, and that is successful. The Panthers will make their way onto the board and will approach down the middle, moving into the crop fields. In the movement step on the left flank, the Panzer IVs continue to make their way across the crops here, bringing their guns closer to the M10s. Over on the German right flank, we do have a cross check that's being taken as they lie here, and these tanks are moving into the woods. Two of these cross checks did fail, however, and two of these tanks will stop at the edge of the woods. We move into the shooting step. The 88s are going to fire at the M10s again. Normally hitting on fours, range makes it five, and they are concealed for six. And they are going to land one hit, and that will be assigned. We are going to do a mistaken target here on a 3+. plus. 
that is going to be successful. We're going to assign it to one of these tanks over here that is in short range of these panzers. And rolling up for the armor save, that is going to be failed. So we're going to go to a firepower test that is unsuccessful. That will be a bailed out M10. Back to the German right flank, the Panzer Force here are going to open up with machine guns. We'll be 12 shots in total as they fire at the armored rifle platoon with a focus on those bazookas in the buildings. Normally hitting these guys on three, they are concealed, so fours. And they are going to get a handful of hits. Three up infantry saves will be required. First, the bazookas on the bottom floor. Two teams, both are in good shape. Rolling for the two teams on the top floor. Also looking for three ups. All good. The mortar team in the back also struck by fire. They are good. The HQ of this unit is going to be fine as well. And then over on the left, another rifle team takes a hit. And they are good as well. They will become pinned. Shooting continues on the German left flank with three of these Panzer IVs at long range. They are firing into the M10s, normally hitting on four, long range five, concealed would be six. Their moving rate of fire is one. They will land one hit onto the M10s. Another Panzer IV is at short range, but concealed just needs fives, and he also lands a hit. Those hits are going to be assigned, and we begin rolling up four armor saves. With that far right tank team bailed out, hits were assigned to the next eligible tanks. They are getting a plus one to their armor here for long range, taking it to a six. That five will tie the anti-tank of 11, but he fails the firepower and it is bailed out. The next one also looking for a five. That one is failed, so going to a firepower test, needing a three up, he gets it, and that is one M10 destroyed. In the center of the board, these three Panther tanks newly arrived from reserve. They are going to take shots with their moving rate of fire, targeting these poor stewards here. They are at long range, so a 5 will be required to hit the easiest target. All of them are going to miss. As bullets fly by the stewards, we move to the Americans for the bottom of 3, attempting to unpin this unit here with blood and guts, needing a 3 up. That is unsuccessful. They stay pinned. Over on the right flank, trying to get back into one of these M10s, that roll is going to be successful. That tank becomes operational. Americans first rolling up for reserves, one die on a five up. The 76s will make their way onto the board. We are also going to roll four aircraft, the Grasshopper on a three plus. He is coming in, and the P-47 Thunderbolts on a four plus, they are coming in. As the Grasshopper and P-47 make their way onto the battlefield, the Sherman 76s did enter on the American left flank. In movement, these extremely lucky stewards are going to move at tactical speed, rolling two cross checks here on a 3+. plus. They are going to move over the fence line and get out of line of sight from those Panzer IVs. The M10s on the American right flank, we got a cross-check attempt here as he attempts to go over the fence line to get into cover from these approaching Panzer IVs on the right. The other two are going to pivot slightly, moving a little closer to occupy the objective. In the shooting step for the Americans, the P-47s attempting to range in to fire rockets on these Panzer IVs. There is a little bit of terrain here as they are in these crop fields, and that will require a 5 in order to range in. That first attempt is going to be unsuccessful, and rolling up for the second, they will get a success. Due to ranging in on the second attempt, they are plus one to hit, so now needing fives, rolling these as they lie, they all miss. The M10s then line up shots as well at the Panzer IVs, firing at their moving rate of fire. Potentially should have used a blitz maneuver here, but normally hitting on fours, and they're going to be concealed five. We brought them into short range. One of the M10s is going to land a hit and assigns that to one of the Panzer IVs. Front armor of six needs a six to tie, and that is failed. Firepower test is taken, needing a three plus. Didn't get it. Using the reroll here, wanting to take out one of these tanks, and it is just bailed out. We did have one additional M10 to fire, but he is at range and concealed. His shot misses, needing sixes. Back to the American left flank, we can see where the 76s entered. The infantry have not moved or fired, so they are pinned down, 
and they are going to take shots over the top of this infantry squad. While they do get two shots each, stabilizers and range and concealment makes it sevens, all of them miss. The bazookas attempt to fire in as well, moving rate of fire due to them being pinned down, and they are going to miss as well, needing fives. Across the board, the priests are going to do a repeat bombardment, and we do ship the Shermans a little bit as the, the intention was to keep them out of danger close here. The artillery self-spotting, repeating the bombardment, and the two teams on the top are missed. The two teams on the bottom are missed. The commander of the unit is missed, and over on the right, that team is missed as well. So nobody hit by artillery that time. The Stuart tanks are going to open up their machine guns into the German infantry in the building, normally hitting on fours. They haven't done anything, so they are concealed and gone to ground. This will require sixes, and they do get five shots each, so 15 in total. The dice result in four total hits, and we assign those to the ones in the building, taking their three-up infantry saves and re-rolling two four cock dice here. One of those teams will go to a firepower test on a five-up and will be destroyed. That brings us to the end of turn three, where we are starting to see some really good action across the board. The Germans continuing a push towards the left objective, and we will go back over to them for the top of turn four. German starting step, Germans attempting to get back into this Panzer IV that is successful. They are then going to roll up for the infantry here to see if they can unpin, and that will be unsuccessful. Rolling up for reserves, two dice this time looking for a 5+, the HQ unit of Panzer Force make their way onto the battlefield. Where do they show up? It will be in the middle, the Germans now at full strength. Into the movement step, the Panzer IVs continue to make their way up the left flank using the woods here as cover. The Panthers are going to continue to make their way up the center of the board, moving at tactical speed. We then move to the German right flank. We've got three cross checks coming from these Panzer IVs as they lie, and the one on the far right will continue to be stuck. The other two Panzer IVs are free to move, and they move to the edge of the woods. With movement concluded, we go into the shooting step. The 88s open up into the M10s, four shots, and those are all going to miss. The Panthers are going to target the same unit, normal hitting on four. They are at range five and concealed six. They are going to land a hit, and we are going to assign that roll up for a mistaken target on a three plus. And that is going to be successful. This is going to go straight to a firepower as it penetrates the armor immediately. And that is unsuccessful, so that will be a bailed out M10. The Panzer HQs will get two shots into the Stuarts, and they both miss, needing fours. Remaining two operational Panzer IVs take two shots down at the Sherman 76s that are approaching. And they are going to land two hits here, needing fives. While the camera footage decided to mess up here, they did roll two sixes and bounce those shots. And with shooting concluded, we move to American turn four, first rolling for reserves. None coming in this turn. We do roll for the grasshopper. It is not coming in this turn. P-47s will come in on that four plus, now targeting those Panther tanks in the middle of the board. We also need to attempt to unpin the infantry unit here on a three plus. They are good and then attempting to remount one of these M10s over here in the starting step. They are good as well. The Americans now realizing time is getting short. The infantry are going to push forward towards the two Panzers. Bazooka teams also move as well, getting closer as the 76s move at a dash speed, staying in cover. The Stuarts are going to move at tactical speed, and they are going to be able to get side shots on one of these Panzer IVs. With movement concluded, we go into the shooting step, and the Priests are going to attempt to self-spot, and they are going to bring in some smoke. We do move this marker a little further back, uh, ranging in on a 3. And that is going to be successful, and smoke hits the battlefield, three guns firing at 12 inches. The P-47s also looking to drop their rockets on these Panthers moving up the center of the board, attempting to range in here. They are able to maneuver this template to where it does not clip any terrain, 
and they are looking for a 4 plus to range in. They miss on two attempts, and finally getting it on the third attempt. That will be a plus two to hit, so now requiring sixes. They will strike two of these tanks, however, and this goes against top armor. With an any tank of five, a four is required to tie. The first one does fail. So we go up to a four up firepower test, and that is successful. One of those Panthers will be taken down. The second one is going to pass the save, but still, one of those Panthers taken down by the P-47 rockets. The M-10s are going to pivot their turrets to line shots up at the approaching Panthers. Six shots at their halted rate of fire, normally hitting on fours. One of these has a clear shot, and that's this guy here, so he is just range. And he will get one hit on a five. The other two are shooting through concealment. They'll need sixes. We get one of those as well. The last M10 at its halted rate of fire, needing sixes through concealment. That is a total of three hits on the Panthers. Their front armor goes to a 10 at long range, however, so they just need twos to equal. The first two shots bounce. And the third needing just a two up to tie, it's going to fail, but the German player will use the reroll here, and the shot will equal. So it will go to a firepower test, needing a three up to bail this guy out, and it fails. The Stuart tanks then take shots with their main cannons stabilizers into the Panzer IV. We'll get two hits here, needing fives. And while they will roll up a successful armor save on the side, one of them is failed, and that goes to a firepower test, and that is a Panzer IV destroyed in the back by two of the Stuarts. The last Stuart takes two shots from the main cannon into the building. Both of those shots are going to miss. The rifle platoon on the American left flank. We do have four bazookas that are firing into these Panzer IVs, and four ones, that's not going to get it done. With only the bazooka teams in assaulting range, the Americans have elected to not assault the Panzer IVs, and we are going to move to the top of turn 5, where the Germans will be back at work. German starting step, the infantry attempting to unpin again, needing a 4-plus motivation. They do fail, getting a reroll for the nearby HQ unit, and that will be successful. They unpin. We do see a blitz maneuver by two of the tanks rolling these as they lie. We do get one that fails. Another is going to make it into the woods. The other two are going to wrap around the bottom, putting pressure on that bottom objective. The two Panthers in the middle then rumble forwards, looking to also put shots down on the M10s. And we move into the shooting step with the rest of the Germans remaining stationary. And first up, we do have two shots coming from these Panzer IVs at their halted rate of fire into the Stuarts. They only get one hit, needing a four. And we're going to go right to a firepower here. It fails and bails him out. The other two Panzer IVs in the woods open up with machine guns. Four shots each, eight in total, and they're hitting on threes. Attempting to pin this unit and just an abysmal roll. They're only going to get three total hits on that unit, assigning them all to the bazooka teams. And rolling three up infantry saves, one, two, three, all are going to be good. The 88s fire down at the M10s, and we do get a little bit of rules fatigue here. They should be hitting on sixes as they're long range and concealed. For some reason, we included that five as a hit. We go to a firepower, and one of those M10s is blown. The Panthers in the middle fire as well. Both of them miss, needing fives. The Panzer IVs also take shots. Two of them are wide open. Well, they just need conceals. They're firing at the priests, and they miss both of these shots, just needing fours. And then the one that moved fires one shot, misses as well. And with that lackluster shooting, we go to the Americans for the bottom of turn five. And the Americans still do have some reinforcements to come in. The Grasshopper comes in on a 3+, plus. P-47's looking to come in on a 4+, plus. they don't get it. But they still have two units that are in reserve, getting three dice this time. They automatically get one in, but only one will come in. They do come in on the middle, and it is a group of Sherman 75s, four of them to be exact. The Stuart is going to attempt to get back into his tank, which is not successful. 
they will then maneuver around to the back of these Panzer IVs where they will get shots in the rear. The Armored Rifle Platoon is going to move forward, getting into a range to fire into the building with the machine guns and getting additional teams into charge range of the Panzer IVs. The 76s roll up a blitz maneuver, and this actually passes on a 3 due to Yankee ingenuity. They will get to move a total of 14 inches, and two of them will come into line of sight with the Panzer IVs occupying the American objective. As a quick side note, we leave the mortar team stationary so they can fire. The Grasshopper attempting to rearrange in for the Priest Artillery Battery does so on the second attempt, moving that range in due to danger close. And now they're hitting on fives, so rolling these out, one team is struck on the bottom, the leader of this platoon will be hit, and then the, right, the LMG team on the right is missed. So this will require three up infantry saves, and the first is going to be good. And the second for the team on the bottom is good as well. Stuart Light Tanks taking shots into the rear of the Panzer Force, needing fives due to stabilizers, and all of these are going to miss. A shot from one of the 76s, he does get two with this moving rate of fire, but stabilizers and concealment makes this sixes to hit, and he will land one. The front armor on this tank is a six, and the anti-tank is 12. That is not going to equal, so a 3-up firepower test is rolled, and that tank is destroyed. There was also another 76 back here that could draw a line of sight, so he is drawing two dice as well on his own, shooting with concealment and stabilizers, so again, sixes are needed and both miss. Newly appeared from reserve, these group of 75 Shermans are going to fire main cannons at these Panzer IVs, and while they do get two shots each, eight in total, it will be fives due to stabilizers, and they are going to land three hits. Front armor of six against any tank of 12. Sixes would be required. So far, he is rolling fails, and I am taking firepower tests behind him. Another fail here, and we do destroy one of these, and the rest are going to be bailed out. M10s line up shots at the approaching Panthers. They get two shots with a halted rate of fire. Four in total, just needing fours, but only one will connect. Front armor of nine against anti-tank 12, that will tie. So a three up is required to attempt to bail him out, and that is good. One of the Panthers will be bailed out. We now move into some shooting for artillery. We do get a self spot coming from the mortars, which we did leave at stationary. They are going to fail attempts to get ranged in. They do finally get it on the third attempt, but it is a plus two to hit. We begin rolling, looking for sixes to strike teams. One of the machine gun teams on the bottom will be hit. The HQ of that platoon is good, and that last machine gun team is good as well. Three up infantry save will be required, and that is fine. We did let the four bazookas take shots. Normally they hit on fives. We weren't sure if this counted as concealed with them both being in the woods, but we just said, hey, look, it's concealed, so hitting on sixes. One of the bazookas we counted to hit and said it hit in the rear, which is a uh, armor of three. And, you know, with an anti-tank of ten, we just rolled for a five-up firepower, and it did not happen. We move over to 50 cal machine guns from the half tracks that are firing into the building at the infantry here. They normally hit on fours, but they are concealed and gone to ground, so needing sixes, all of those are going to miss. The 30 cals then fire as well, getting more shots, and there's three of these trucks that have these weapons. Once again, this should require sixes, I believe, because they're concealed and gone to ground. We counted five, so we just counted them as being concealed. The E is going to roll up all of his uh, infantry saves, though, needing three ups, so no harm, no foul on these. We do have a few machine gun teams that will not be participating in the upcoming assault. They do fire with their machine guns, needing sixes as the teams are concealed and gone to ground. And they're going to land at three of them, and my son rolling up some saves here. He is going to roll sixes right behind my sixes. Five, and looking for a Yahtzee, almost. We then move to the assault step, where both of these tanks are swarmed by the American infantry. One of the tanks is operational, will conduct offensive fire, hitting these guys on threes, and it does look like he will get two hits, rolling up for just three up infantry saves after these are assigned, and both of them fail, will chop two of these stands down. 
the gaps are quickly filled by more infantry and we roll up for the bazookas first and they hit on fives and assaults so rolling them separately two of them against the top tank miss two of them against the bailed out tank are successful We've then got the rest of the American infantry, three on the bailed out tank and only one on the operational tank. And rolling those out, they need fours in order to hit. And we do get one here, and the other ones are going to take swings into the operational tank. And it looks like he is going to land one hit as well. So resolving these first two, I believe it goes against side armor, which with the bazooka skirts, there are they are five. Is still going to fail against an anti-tank of 10 and we're going to go to a five up firepower for these two to see if they can destroy this bailed out tank and that is successful that tank is destroyed the other two infantry stands are looking for ones from the german dice and they are not going to get it so the germans are going to roll to counterattack on a four plus they don't get it so that last tank will be destroyed and the americans are going to consolidate we quickly move to the germans for the top of six and this unit trying to unpin it is unsuccessful they will get a reroll to see if they can rally from the hq nearby and it's still unsuccessful we do attempt to remount some tanks on three pluses those two are successful the panther however is unsuccessful i believe needing a four up we do take a cross check here for this panzer force he looks to move into the woods not a big enough gap to shoot through so they are going to stay stationary except for that one the hq panzer four is going to rotate his turret around and we move right into shooting as he takes shots into the shermans he does hit one and we go right into firepower where it explodes the two 88s are going to take shots again down at the end 10s normally hit on force five range six for concealment and that is one hit that goes into a firepower test needing a three plus and that is going to be successful another m10 is blown the panther is going to take a shot into the last m10 needing fives for concealment and both shots are going to miss the panzer force then fire as well and they do need fours to hit here for the ones that did not move they will land one hit and we go to the armor save and he rolls up a six he bounces the shot the last one only gets one for its moving rate of fire he is going to miss as well just really lackluster shooting from the germans we quickly move back to the americans as we kind of see the writing is on the wall in this one the steward is going to be remounted here and he moves around to get shots into the back the 76s are going to move forward at tactical speed bringing their cannons to bear against that panzer IV. and the infantry essentially would push forward and would be able to probably wipe these germans out we do roll here to see if this last panzer four can be taken off the board and both of the stewards rolling separately because they hit differently with stabilizers um, one they both miss the 76 are going to take shots they need sixes due to stabilizers and concealment the first one is going to miss the second one takes two shots and misses and the third one is concealed and stabilizers as well he does land a hit and it goes to an armor save with a anti-tank of 12 that is failed and a three up is required to destroy that tank and that is successful so again, while the infantry could potentially hold out for one more turn, it is very unlikely that the Germans clear the 75s as well as the priest off of this objective. And with my son and I getting a bit fatigued, it's been a very long game, we've decided to call this one as an American victory. From what appeared to be a delayed reaction from the Americans in the early turns, it quickly turned into their favor with some bad shooting from the Germans. They were able to get around the left flank and take the objective. The German infantry could have made a push here, but they were highly outnumbered with the half-tracks in the back, as well as the Stuart machine guns and the Sherman 76s over near the objective. And that concludes our Flames of War Battle Report. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. A quick shout out to the Supporters Club for this year. Certainly appreciate your support, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.